Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how to uh, code and hook up an IR sensor for obstacle avoidance. Uh, with the code, we're going to define a, a pin and define, and it's going to be IR sensor, we'll name it IR, and we're going to put that on Arduino pin number 9. And we'll go right into the void setup. And we're going to be using a serial monitor to read the values. So we're going to start that. Serial begin. And we'll be using 9600 baud rate. Now we'll go down and we'll create the loop. And the only thing we're going to have to do to show you how this works is uh, do a print printout. Serial print. And we're going to print the digital read, the read that it's getting from that pin on the Arduino from the sensor. Uh, so digital read. And we're going to be reading. IR which is pin number 9 and now to give ourselves a little bit of delay so that we can focus on the numbers coming out we will there's only going to be two actually but we'll put a little delay in here delay and we'll go oh, 500 milliseconds and that's it for the code and we'll hook this up in just a minute and we'll show you how it works thanks alright now that we have the code all done for the IR sensor we're going to hook this up and see how it works uh, if you can see right from left to right we have ground we have our positive pin and our signal pin we're not going to be using the last one so we'll hook up our ground on our board and we'll hook up our positive on the board and then I'm going to hook up a signal going to the Arduino at pin number 9 and then I'm going to hook up our positive and negative negative will go to the negative side of the board the positive 5 volts will go to the positive side of our board up let's see here slide our sensor down in I'll plug it in and see if see how it works all right now we're gonna upload it and wait for it Okay, now we're going to open up our serial monitor and we'll see, I already see a mistake. Uh, see how the numbers are printing out one right after another? We need to put a carriage return in there or a line break. So we're going to go and do that right now. Just a print LN. And we will recompile that and upload that. Okay, now we'll open up our serial monitor and we will see that we're getting a 1 as a return. And now we go over it and when something gets too close to it, it will trigger it and it will send a 0 to the Arduino. 
So this way, if our robot gets too close to something, we can program it to turn. And that was it. Real simple. Real simple things.